Today, we're talking about the gimbal shooting modes for the Juin Weeble 3 gimbal. Let's get started. Starting with PF or pan follow mode, this will enable the pan axis, but disable the tilt axis. Press the M or mode button to access lock mode, which will disable both the tilt and the pan motors. Next is F or follow mode, which will enable both the pan and the tilt motors. Double press the M button to access point of view mode, which will allow you to gain access to the roll motor. You can use this for cool abstract shots. While in POV mode, double press the M button to access vortex mode, which will point the camera vertically. Now you will have full 360 degree rotation while using the joystick. You can also access specific vortex settings, which will allow you to access auto rotation options. Firmly hold the trigger button to access go mode. This will make the gimbal's motors much more responsive. This is perfect for action style shots. Press on the menu button on the side of the gimbal to gain control over the specific settings for your motors. Control is the setting for your joystick. How fast do you want the gimbal to respond to your joystick? I left all of these settings at default. Follow mode is how fast you want the gimbal to respond to your physical movements. You can change any of these values by pressing on the dial button or you can go back by pressing the menu button. The smooth settings allows you to change how smooth the gimbal eases into its movements and eases out of the movements. For my Weeble 3, I have the pan set between 115 and 120. And on my tilt motor, I have it set to around 110. Press the menu button to save the settings. Dead band settings have to do with degrees. How many degrees do you want to physically turn the gimbal on any axis in order for the gimbal's motors to kick in? Here I made an adjustment on my tilt motor setting it to 5. Don't forget that these specific settings are for my liking and for my specific camera lens combination. Under tracking, select the focal length that you are currently using. This will help you when you are motion tracking with Zune's Transmount Video Transmitter AI, which is a separately sold accessory. So one of the most important things that I recommend that you do is just envision the gimbal being a part of your body. Most beginners and amateurs will just grab a gimbal and simply use their hands to do most of the movements. Instead, I want you to have a firm grasp on the gimbal, one hand on the lower handle, one hand on the upper handle, and bring it close to your body. And instead of having your hands move separately from your body, have your whole entire body move. And by doing this, you're gonna get much more stable shots, especially if you're incorporating both the pan and the tilt. Now in F or full follow mode, when tilt is also working with the pan axis motor, you have to also keep your elbows nice and firm against your sides if you want that precision in your movements. Again, your whole body should be moving with the gimbal, or I should say, the gimbal should be moving with your whole body. A lot of people overlook this technique, and I'm telling you, this is the best way to get smooth and stable shots. When using the new sling arm handle for the Weeble 3, because this gimbal is so well balanced, you don't need to put too much pressure on your arm. You can simply hold the gimbal with two fingers just like this, and you can get the smoothest low angle shots get low to the ground, and you'll see what I'm talking about. The less contact you have with the gimbal when creating a low angle shot, the smoother it's gonna come out. Also, you can use the wrist rest to get you some more leverage and to actually take the pressure off of your forearm. This will increase your shooting time and make it much more enjoyable for you to use your Weeble 3. When accessing POV mode, you wanna keep your elbows in as well. The firmer and more stable your body, the better the shots are going to come out. Simply have a look at my form right here. I'm keeping my elbows tucked into my sides and you can see how fluid the movement is with the gimbal. If my arms flail out like this or not as close to my sides, you can see a lot more up and down movements, especially if you're walking. So remember, keep your body tight and firm and you will get the most stable shots possible. And just like that, we're all done with this video. Make sure you check out the other videos in this training series for the Weeble 3. I'll see you in another one.